guys have requested that I do that. So I have um, only clothes from Family Thrift Center Outlet, and that is my big yellow bag in every thrift haul. But I went on two different occasions. I went once on $1.25 day, and then I went once on 50 cents day. So the $1.25 day was a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to show you those clothes first. And I just recently went to the 50 cents day a couple days ago, so I'm going to show those last. So let's get started. So one of the first items that I got, and I actually washed this already because I wanted to wear it, is um, this shirt. It's from the brand Shea, which I'm not sure where that's sold at. But it's just this really long gray, what could be a shirt or cardigan. But I was, I really loved it because of the button details in the front, and it has hmm, pockets that are turned inside out right now. Okay, so anyways, it has pockets here on the front, and it's just super cozy and fun. This item is the only vintage piece that I actually picked up. It's this like little oversized leather shirt, and I love the back because it has these button details all the way down. It buttons all the way down. It's from the brand Linda Allward for Ellen Tracy, and it had massive shoulder pads in it when I purchased it. So I just cut those out because I thought this would look so good with a statement necklace and distressed jeans and booties and it does. I tried it on. The next thing that I got is uh, this pair of Gap jeans. These are in a 26. I usually wear a 27 but these are the cut sexy boyfriend and boyfriend jeans are made to be a little bit bigger so you usually go down a size when wearing boyfriend jeans. I like the the fade on the front of the jeans and they're in perfect condition for $1.25. I don't know if you guys can see them pretty good here. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They look like they've just been worn a handful of times. This may be my favorite find on this round, the $1.25 round. It's this peppered colored um, turtleneck or cow neck. I love these because you can easily throw a cardigan over it and if you get too hot because it's Texas and you really don't know what the weather's going to be like day to day, then you can just take that cardigan off and you're still professional and it's still kind of cozy and can keep you warm. So it's perfect for those 60s and 70s days. This is from the brand Kenneth Cole New York. I love this so much. I want to find like 10 of these and just wear them all winter. The next shirt that I got is this yellow Nike dry fit long sleeve shirt. I do not have a dry fit long sleeve shirt and I really wanted it for the days that I can convince myself to go to the gym. Um, but this is just one of their basic live strong shirts and Nike is expensive so $1.25, really good deal. I also picked up, and I have a couple of these, but this is the J. Crew Collector Tees and I like these because they're thin and comfortable but they're made to, to be a little bit oversized. And I liked this one a lot because it's not your basic striped shirt. It has this really pretty blue going down the middle. Mm -hmm. And I love the way that it fits. This is a blue, a cobalt blue H&M dress. And it has this ribbed texture all the way through the dress. And it has a gold zipper detail in the back. And it's just one of those quality dresses that you get from H&M. And for $1.25, you know, you can't pass it up. It was just in great condition. So this is one of the items I got not crazy about. It is, doesn't look good on at all. So it was a brand new Gap shirt. It still has the tags on it. And I've been looking for that perfect white just tee that you can just throw on and it looks good with jeans and you can just go. I haven't found that yet, but uh, I thought this may be it because it has a little bit of something to it on the sleeves. Turns out the sleeves make you look hideous. I do not like whatever is going on over here. Um, it's like this weird scrunching going all the way down the sleeves and it's just not flattering at all. So unfortunately this was the only piece I came home with and wasn't really excited about but I thought I'd show you guys anyways. So this is one of the items I'm actually really excited about because I've been looking for a pair of white denim uh, jeans for a long time that I actually like and I have one pair but they're pretty distressed so I can't wear them to work. So I found these BDG, BDG jeans and they're just very basic, high-waisted, white denim jeans. They are in perfect condition, which I was really surprised because they are white. So finding white jeans at a thrift store that are not destroyed is a rarity. And I also love these because they're a little bit nostalgic with a 90s feel on the bottom of the legs. So I feel like I had so many clothes way back when that did this. 
These next two items are two items that I've been searching for for a very, very, very long time. So to find them in both in the same haul, I was very excited about it. The first one is a swimsuit cover. I do not have a proper swimsuit cover. I usually just throw on one of my summer dresses, which is totally fine, but we wear that to the pool. But um, I wanted something that was like meant to be a legit swimsuit cover, and I found the cutest one. So this is from J. Crew, and it's just this white swimsuit cover that has blue pom-poms all over it. I'm obviously not going to try this on for you guys because it's a swimsuit cover, <laughs> but just so you guys can get the full effect here. Um, it's super, super cute. Again, to be a white piece of clothing, nothing wrong with it at all. I absolutely love it. I think it's going to be so cute in the summer. The one item that I have had the hardest time finding, two years ago, whenever I lived in Virginia, I found a Columbia rain jacket at a Goodwill for $3, but it is a youth, um, boys extra large jacket, and it's red, and it looks manly. So I've just been waiting and waiting to find myself a girlier rain jacket, but I cannot bring myself to spend $60 to $70 on a Columbia or North Face rain jacket. But the day came, and I found one, and this is what it looks like. It's this light blue rain jacket, and it is Columbia, and again, nothing wrong with it. Like, I can't find a stain on it at all. It looks barely worn. Um, it, like, absolutely nothing. It's a medium, so it's a little bit uh, bigger, but it's a rain jacket. I don't care. The last thing that I got on the day that I went, when everything was $1.25, is this pair of black Aldo flats. And these are a little rough on the inside, but I'm going to do some cleaning to clean them up. But the exterior is in great condition, and I really needed a new pair of just basic black flats. I've had the same pair for years, and they're a little worn, so I really was on the lookout for another pair, and I found them, and I really like them. So now we have the stack of clothes that I got on 50 Cents Day. The first thing that I picked up literally when I walked into the store, and I was super excited about it, is this Lululemon gray uh, workout shirt. We all know that Lululemon is a very expensive brand and a brand that I'm always looking for when I go to thrift stores because I don't want to spend the uh, money that they're asking for in the store. Very, um, It's a very subtle Lulu um, logo on the front and then I'll zoom up here on the back. You can see the Lululemon sign very little on the back, but I tried this on and it's very, um, light and airy for running and working out and I really really like it. I'm hoping buying all these workout clothes will motivate me. So the next item that I got is this cotton on black and white kind of Aztec pattern. I don't really know what this pattern is but I love the way this shirt fits because it's one of those shirts that's really really tight on the arms like it fits perfect on the arms but it's meant and it looks like it's meant to be loose everywhere else. So, and I love shirts that I don't have to layer. I hate layering shirts so bad. If, if honestly, fun fact about me, if I find a shirt and it's so thin that I have to layer underneath it, I will not purchase it. That's how much I hate wearing like tanks underneath my shirts. The next item that I got is from Zara Basic and I love Zara clothes. I've owned a few via Goodwills and thrift stores. But this one is a tunic-like shirt, and I really love navy. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. And this one's very lightweight as well, and it has um, belt loops if you want to loop a belt around your waist. Uh, but I really, really like this. I tried this on with a pair of distressed white jeans. When I bring my clothes home from um, thrift stores, I like to be creative initially and figure out what it would actually work with. That way I can kind of imagine it going forward when it's just hanging in my closet. So that's kind of what I tried this on with, and I absolutely love it. And then I bought two just lounging sweatshirts that I just found and loved. The first one is this gray distressed sweatshirt that says, United States Army, Fort Drum, New York. I just really like it because it has a distressed collar and America, you know. I bought one more of those because there's a lot of days where I just don't, don't care. And I bought one that says Boston, Red, well it says Red Sox and it has a B on the arm for the Boston Red Sox. And, but it's Nike, so it's um, a more expensive brand. It is a little kids, it's a 12, 14. So the sleeves are a little uh, short and you'll see that when I'm trying it on. But I, um, I like it, it's cozy and it's 
in perfect condition and it was a very easy buy. So another thing I found that I wanted to replace in my closet, I currently have a blazer that I bought from Target, but it's like an oversized black blazer. I have actually never owned a fitted black blazer that actually fits me well. And I found this one, it's also from the brand Cotton On, and it's um, a cotton material rather than that material, whatever that material is that blazers usually are. But it's mainly because one, it fits me like like a glove, and that is just honest coincidence when you're at a thrift store. But I love the lining because the lining kind of brings it to life whenever you cuff it at the ends, and I'm really excited to style that. I think that's going to be fun. There's so many things that you can do with a black blazer. A couple more items from 50 Cent's Day. I also picked up this very basic black shirt because you, you guys know I love, love black. This is from Gap, and I'm a big fan of Gap as well. Yeah, the detailing's on the shoulder and has these buttons, and I liked the um, sleeve length a lot. Last item that I got at 50 Cent's Day are these really cute booties. They're from Nine & Co, which I'm not quite sure where that's sold, and I just couldn't pass them up for 50 cents. Alright guys, so that is the end of my thrift haul plus try on. I hope you guys enjoyed it this time. This is my first try on on my channel. So if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. I have a lot of cool videos that I've already filmed and they're just waiting for me to edit them. So please stick around and see what else I have coming. And I hope you guys have an awesome